Released in 1951, Ace in the Hole is a film that remains etched in cinematic history for its unflinching portrayal of sensational journalism and the dark underbelly of human nature. Directed by Billy Wilder, this gripping narrative explores the ethical dilemmas faced by a down-and-out journalist, Chuck Tottom, played by Kirk Douglas, who stumbles upon a trapped miner and orchestrates a media circus to extend his own career. As you delve into the world of Ace in the Hole, you may find yourself pondering the consequences of sensationalism and the boundaries of journalistic integrity. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Has it made you reflect on the media's role in shaping public perception and the ethical choices individuals make in pursuit of their goals? We would love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below, and let's continue the conversation about this thought-provoking classic. Now, let's uncover some random facts about the film, including its behind-the-scenes insights, trivia, and its reception over the years. Ace in the Hole is a 1951 movie directed by Billy Wilder. It was made immediately following Wilder's successful film Sunset Boulevard. This success gave Wilder significant creative control with roles as a writer, director, and producer. He was even promised a percentage of the film's profits, which never materialized due to the movie's lack of success. The film also faced a legal challenge when actor Victor Desnay sued during the script's writing phase. He claimed the movie was an unauthorized version of the Floyd Collins story, a man trapped in a cave year earlier. Since Desnay owned the rights to the Collins story, he alleged copyright infringement. Desnay won the case, and the California Supreme Court ruled in his favor, leading to a settlement where Wilder's team paid Desnay $14,350. In the film, two real radio stations, KOAT and Cobb, are mentioned. As of 2021, these stations in Albuquerque are still in operation, with affiliated TV stations. Ace in the Hole is a notable film in Billy Wilder's career, marked by his unprecedented creative control and the legal challenge it faced during production. The 1951 movie Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder, is noted for its shooting location. The film was shot in a remote cliff niche located 2.7 miles east of the Arizona, New Mexico border on State Highway 118. The exact coordinates of the location are 352,353, 6N, 1,090,112, 0W. At the time, Paramount Pictures constructed replica cliff dwellings inside the niche at a cost of $30,000. This unique shooting location added authenticity to the film's portrayal of a man trapped in a cave, creating a realistic and memorable setting for the story. The movie Ace in the Hole is also the second film by Billy Wilder to feature a character who works for the fictitious Pacific All Risk Insurance Company, with the first being double indemnity in 1944. These facts highlight some of the interesting aspects of the film's production and connections to other works by the director, making Ace in the Hole a notable piece of cinematic history. The 1951 movie Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder, faced a tough ride upon its release. It received negative reviews and proved to be a financial loss for the studio. In an attempt to boost its box office earnings, the studio changed its title to The Big Carnival without Wilder's consent. However, this strategy did not succeed, and the film continued to struggle at the box office. To add to the film's woes, Billy Wilder's subsequent project, Stalag 17, was a success. Wilder expected a share of the profits from this hit, but Paramount's accountants informed him that the losses incurred by Ace in the Hole would be subtracted from the profits of Stalag 17. Despite its initial setbacks, Ace in the Hole has gained recognition over the years. It is included on Roger Ebert's list of great movies, and it has earned a place in the prestigious Criterion Collection as Spine 396. This film's turbulent journey from a poorly received release to its later recognition demonstrates the complexities and uncertainties of the movie industry, where a work's true value can sometimes take time to be fully appreciated. The film Ace in the Hole from 1951 starred Kirk Douglas, who was borrowed by Paramount from Warner Bros. for a fee of $150,000. The movie's unrelenting cynicism didn't sit well with 1951 movie audiences, and it ended up costing Paramount a fortune. 
Interestingly, writer-director Billy Wilder later considered it one of the best films he ever made, despite its negative impact on his career. The original poster art cleverly depicted Kirk Douglas in a cave creating the impression that he was the one trapped. This dual-sided gimmick not only attracted viewers, but also symbolized his character's struggle to escape a dull small town. It's a classic film with a complex legacy. In the 1951 movie Ace in the Hole, residents of Gallup, New Mexico were hired as extras. They were paid 75 cents an hour for a 10-hour day. Extras earned an additional $3 if they could bring an automobile to the set. This fact highlights the use of local talent and resources in the film's production, shedding light on the economic aspects of filmmaking during that era. It shows how the film industry often relied on the communities where they shot their movies, providing employment opportunities for local residents. This not only added authenticity to the film, but also had a positive impact on the local economy. Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder, is a classic film that tells a compelling story with a touch of realism. The 1951 movie Ace in the Hole holds a place in the official top 250 narrative feature films on Letterboxd. Directed by Billy Wilder and starring Kirk Douglas, this film is known for its impactful storytelling. It is also included in the list of 1001 movies you must see before you die, edited by Steven Schneider. The movie revolves around Chuck Totem, a cynical newspaper reporter, and his unscrupulous methods to turn a trapped man's misfortune into a media sensation. With this recognition on Letterboxd, and inclusion in the must-see movies list, Ace in the Hole is a classic that continues to captivate audiences with its gripping narrative. In a 1950 memo to Billy Wilder, Kirk Douglas had his concerns about Chuck Totem's monologue regarding missing New York City, demonstrating his dedication to the character and the film's authenticity. Douglas questioned the absence of pastrami, garlic pickles, Madison Square Garden, and even Yogi Berra in the monologue. He admitted not knowing who Yogi Berra was, showing his commitment to the role and his attention to detail. Ace in the Hole remains a powerful film, addressing the sensationalism and ethics of journalism, making it a timeless classic that remains relevant even today. It is a must-watch for those interested in thought-provoking cinema. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the captivating world of 1,951 seconds Ace in the Hole, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you may have forged with this remarkable film. Billy Wilder's masterful storytelling, Kirk Douglas' riveting performance, and the thought-provoking narrative have the power to leave an indelible mark on each viewer. Did you find yourself drawn into the morally complex world of Chuck Totem, the cynical reporter, and his relentless pursuit of the next big story? Or perhaps you were struck by the film's exploration of sensationalism, ethics, and the dark side of human nature? Ace in the Hole is a mirror to society, reflecting the sometimes uncomfortable truths about media sensationalism and the lengths people will go to for fame and fortune. Take a moment to ponder the film's timeless relevance as its themes continue to resonate in our modern world. Have you ever encountered situations where media sensationalism blurred the line between truth and fiction? Or maybe you've contemplated the consequences of one's actions in the relentless pursuit of success. We invite you to share your favorite memories, reflections, or thoughts on Ace in the Hole. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective understanding of this classic, reminding us of the enduring power of cinema to spark meaningful conversations and introspection. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey and for your time and interest. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and insights. Until next time, keep the spirit of film alive and remember that the world of cinema is an ever-unfolding story.